What's up, I'm Tyler Casey. This is Wolf Talk with Rob Driscoll. If you guys don't know Rob Driscoll, he is a music video director slash shooter out here in the Bay Area. Yeah. He's done a bunch of videos uh, all over the Bay Area that you guys have probably seen. He's done videos for <coughs> B-E, or no, B-O-E Sosa, Lil P. He shot a video with E-40, NBA Youngboy, and Yo Gotti. And he's had multiple videos reach millions of views. So what's up, Rob? Awesome. What's up, what's up, what's up, Tyler? How you doing, man? Good man, just uh, you know, just trying to stay busy out here. For sure, cool. Yep. Um, so yeah, so today we're doing a little podcast. We're actually here at Infinite Rhythm Productions. He's setting everything up for us, doing all the audio. So shout out to cool, Combat. Cool. Yep. We might get into Combat a little later. You guys had a little run in back yeah, in yeah, yeah. back we, in uh, college days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's pretty few, funny. A few years back. About to talk That's awesome. about that. Yep. It's awesome. Yeah. So let's just start with. You have any projects going on right now or anything? Uh, I mean, yeah, always, you know, consistent. Um, you know, I try to shoot like every every day, so every other day. But I got some cool ones coming up. Um, I know for a fact that I uh, uh, got a cool one. The mechanics just called me today and said that him and uh, E40 and Be Legit got a record that they're trying to shoot with me. So hopefully that goes through. So that's, that's right. one. Yeah, those guys are cool. They're very specific who they shoot with. Cause I oh, yeah. I helped out on a video once with them, and like he was pretty cool with me. But like they're very like they're really I think they're very particular yeah, about their particular. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For especially sure. like they want it to be quick and fast. And yeah, I think yeah. that's one thing that you're good at is you're, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. fast. Like yeah, that's what not, they say all the time. You know, they, yeah, I'm efficient so. though. You know, fast is. <clears throat> You know, kind of you're not on sloppy, the rushing, but you're yeah, efficient. It's on the rushing yeah, yeah, yeah. side, but I'm efficient. I tell people I'm efficient. You know, yeah, that's efficient. Tight. Yeah, it's I don't definitely. Like I think people. I think especially nowadays, people appreciate that. Like yeah. when like shooting a video, like no one's like. I mean, there's a certain amount where you're like, hey, I gotta switch lenses. Yeah, I gotta do this, yeah, but yeah. like, people don't want to sit there all day. Well, there's a like, lot of downtime. What well, color should we put on this light? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's no, like, come on, guys, let's go. But yeah, so let's get. It's cool. Let's go way back. Um to young rob what was did young rob was he picking up like the vhs camera was he doing anything <laughs> creative like it's crazy because i every time i get asked that, i never bring up this story but um exclusive yeah yeah yeah. but i actually we me and my my buddies we did we did pick up a, a video camera it was the you know the old uh, not too old vhs but yeah it was, it was like, like a dv the, or something it was yeah. one of the nicer sony ones but it wasn't like okay, these cool. dslrs or anything. yeah, yeah, yeah flip no, screen no, stuff no, yeah so um it was definitely middle school but we were making uh movie remakes so like okay, the, we yeah. did the notorious big okay so i put like a i didn't shoot i wasn't shooting all of them you though. Were in them, though. some of them i would shoot but yeah. some of them i liked to i was like like yeah, to act for kid. some reason yeah, yeah. So i used we to do that, that too yeah so we would make we didn't we made pineapple express and they were just <laughs> they were super funny just hella hella dumb no editing obviously because yeah, it was yeah. like you know it was just literally like it would be a, a nice like a nice take and then all of a sudden like a blooper and then yeah, back yeah. to the <laughs> same take and then because yeah, we couldn't yeah. cut it out so. straight linear that's fine. that's what we used to do back in the day and it's crazy i never thought about that but obviously i like went back into the whole video stage and that's a stage that i totally forgot about so yeah so was it was like always there long. you just really didn't like tap I into would, it back not then. until i was like yeah, yeah and then i every time people say how'd you start and then i say oh when i was doing music and then we had mm -hmm. to do the i skipped yeah. that whole part of yeah. when we used to actually like make like little mini movies that yeah sometimes i say i just started in college but like yeah. i used to do the same thing i was always on like windows movie maker you yep. ever use that yeah, yeah, yeah and i was definitely. like i was like i don't know for some That's reason just hella, like, <laughs> yeah interested in like i was making videos on like my webcam i was doing like stop is weird stuff yeah like, yeah no i've always then, been interested too so yeah just, it's yeah, it's weird. A lot of people have similar stories. So, yep. where did it kind of pick up from? Like in high school, were you in like a was there a video production class? Yeah, yeah, was yeah. That's yeah. Okay. So there was. Uh, I think it was my sophomore year. It was like a, it wasn't video. There was a, a separate video production class, but the class that I took was called digital um, digital media or digital uh, something like that. It was mm -hmm. just Photoshop, Lightroom, um, more like uh, like that. Not really video, yeah, but yeah. the last. Uh, quarter was all video so okay, we got sick. to do premiere and like so i learned the basics um before i started because i started final cut pro like when okay, i first yeah, yeah. started shooting videos but when i was doing school that's mm -hmm. in high school we were using premiere okay. so when i had made this is kind of went backwards topic, but yeah when i when i went back to <laughs> premiere i already knew like, yeah, yeah that's tight the, cool you know. i was like i was opposite i was super weird i was doing like Sony Vegas and then oh, yeah. what else never, did I do? never tried Vegas. <laughs> it was cool. Like I hacked it for free and like it has some cool stuff. Yeah, but then yeah. when I did um I went to community college and I learned Premiere, like I took a class straight editing and like we just learned Premiere and like 
I worked on Premiere for like two years straight, yeah. like a lot. So that I feel like a lot of lot. people teach teach Premiere. Yeah, especially now. Like that was kind of like when Premiere was still like new. Yeah. So people are like, eh. No, yeah. But like, no, this is gonna be. But no, time. yeah, the class that I had in high school though, it was it was honestly it was the best class I had in high school. Like literally, like I took it again in my yeah. senior year. And you're supposed to. So if you took it one semester, you have to take the advanced class. He didn't even make me do that. He let me take the regular one again. So it was. He's just chilling. Yeah, That's chilling. What's up. I mean, it was so easy. Like yeah, yeah. Video production was honestly. I feel like a lot of people like even if like they weren't into video like yeah. Everyone would love that class. So, well, like I, I mean, told you, there was a video production class too. But you I never took it. See, never imagine took where it. you could be right now. Yeah, no, exactly. I'm no, no, I'm serious <laughs> though because that video production class taught all the camera settings. Yeah, and yeah. Like you would have just stuff yeah. lighting and just stuff and audio, just all that stuff. I didn't learn till yeah. junior senior year of college. Yeah, so, and see, that's what I always say. It's like I get into it as early as you can because like forever after high school, like I just had a GoPro. Like I wanted yeah, a yeah. DSLR hella bad. And, like, I'm sure you know this and, like, other creatives know this, like, like, oh, should I get this? Should I get this? Like, mm -hmm. the first $1,000 you spend is the most important. Like, I should have made <laughs> yeah, that yeah. jump as soon as I ever had that thought oh, yeah. because no, I would have had the T3 in my hand. I would have started playing with, you know, the F-stop, ISO, yeah. all that. Like, well, it's crazy how affordable cameras are now. So, like, yeah, even high you can literally pick up your in. iPhone and shoot a Well, that's why there's video. younger people, like shooting music yeah. videos, like, at our stage that are, like, in high school that are, like, already you know pushing yeah. these music videos it's crazy it's man yeah there's like 16 year olds shooting music videos yeah. and like getting millions of views oh, yeah. and just like yeah. killing it yeah. i know a few out here so no, that's dope. pretty cool it is for sure um so then college what how was your experience like filming in there like tell me a little bit how that went and like you know i was taking general ed for the first like two years so okay um i would never take a film class until junior year you know and mm -hmm. i i graduated in five so i really i was like a super senior my last year so gotcha. it goes like freshman sophomore junior senior, yeah, yeah, yeah. senior or whatever so i took like two senior years or whatever so my senior first senior year was like the first semester where it's like i really was into the production classes yeah i'm not a film major i was a digital media so like okay, that's cool half yeah. of it was communication classes so like i had to take a debate yeah, class and general. like that's speeches cool. and like all that stuff not film history mm -hmm. and film theory and stuff yeah. it was kind you of like that stuff or no, you like no, no okay cool and, well yeah, that's cool it worked like out that, for you then. yeah exactly because yeah, like, that's what i didn't like about film school is like uh, i mean i found that stuff interesting yeah. but like i'm not too much into movies so like either. i don't want to that's shoot like movies. i was yeah. in a class and they'd be like all right guys what's your top favorite five movies and i'd be like freaking yeah. holes I don't know, like <laughs> you know, like I, yeah, dude. I holes, watch, uh, hey, holes that's a great a movie, movie, but like yeah. I, I'm not like all like. No disrespect who's your favorite Coles. director? And, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I will probably tell you like uh, the main one that does like every Steven movie. Steven Spielberg. Like yeah. you know, I don't even know. Just like this cliche guy does one. Jurassic Park. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So I don't know. I'm more into music, and then yeah. videos was just kind of the way it went. Cool. And I don't know. I like music though. That's, that's tight. It. So how was it? in college balancing you know you started working like how did you like get your first gig like what yeah. was that like so. um i think what oh, i gotta think it was you know we were just messing around with my camera um like i we took my mom's camera, what camera did you have? it was oh, a your t2i mom's? yeah i just took it to college I, they never used it so i had took it out there um to just mess around with it messing around i think we just shot like a I don't even know what it was, and a friend of mine saw it, he's like, bro, can you shoot, I made this song, can you shoot it, and then, mm -hmm. um, it was actually uh, my buddy Bakari, yeah, he had this song that he remixed that You Must Forgot, I don't know if, like, it was kind of when we were, like, hanging out, too, so, like, I don't know if you oh, ever heard that record, yeah, yeah. He's talking to Roberto right now. Yeah, yeah, so it's like, um, that was, like, really the first, like, you know, real time I shot, and then I was like, okay, and then people saw it, like, yeah, that's it, dope, 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 and mm -hmm. then just, like, and then who's the then. one artist that was pretty big that you started working with in SAC? I forgot his name. Uh, Berto showed me one of your videos who, a long time ago. Yeah, D Mac. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, like, once I saw, once I met, once I met D Mac, it was damn near. It was a damn near rap for me. Yeah. And was what was that like, first video you shot with him? Oh, it was uh, with Cali Hustle. It was called. Okay. Uh, uh, I, wait, no, 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 no. That was the second one, but that was the first like. The first one we shot was with par, uh, uh, with uh, Priceless the Rock. Okay. It was uh, it was I forget the name of it, but it was in the uh, Hookaholics. I hadn't even met like uh, DMac like that, so that was kind of like we we didn't know each other, but and we didn't really get to talk that night because it was hella hectic. So like yeah. we shot that, it was cool. But the next video was when we really like, 
you know, he was acting and doing some funny mm-hmm. ass shit, and like that. After that, we were locked in, and yeah. it was like I was like, all right, yeah, I really want to shoot videos. Mm-hmm. But then all we made like six songs together. So okay, like, yeah, you know, yeah. with me like rapping and singing with him, so like that was cool too. Cause yeah, I exactly. had gone like he was with Sage and you know doing the panoramic uh, mm-hmm. thing, and I had gone to multiple shows like as in high school and seen his ass dancing and shit up yeah, on yeah. stage. So. It was, you know, it was cool to, like, you know, go and start working with him. But I started working with him because Jay and Fresh. So Jay and Fresh was really, like, the first, like, the first group that I worked with that they were in my iTunes library, too. Mm-hmm. They had a, yeah, they had a couple crazy, records that were, like, that were big. Um, that and that I was really one of the liked, questions so. on Instagram I'm going to get to later. Oh, okay, okay. Like, What's it like working with the big dogs? Yeah, you know, yeah, and it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to answer it At now. At the time, you know, like I said, uh, that was really cool for me. I had I worked with a couple buddies of mine, and then Jane Fresh, I forget how I, oh, yeah, I'm a buddy of mine, brought him to the shoot, and I did this and did that, and then just word of mouth, and then they saw this, and I saw working with them, and that was that was that was hella dope and i still yeah. talk to him to this day yeah um and dmax still a homie too so yeah, yeah. it's just all yeah it's so all you cool guys linked up recently pretty um a while ago on a shoot or something yeah so. yeah we did it wasn't like too long ago it wasn't too recent though but yeah. yeah it was uh that was our last one it was some funny skit you know i, I he's a he's a damn you talk about dmac right yeah 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 he's a freaking he's an actor man he's a, uh he's hella cool to work with and like i said we got a good relationship we cool Sorry. that's, that's the homie right there for sure cool. So you were in SAC. Um, tell me a little bit about like how was it balancing school life and basically I'm guessing shooting videos kind of became your job. Did you yeah. have any other jobs or what was that like? Yeah, no. The first the first few years, I I no, I didn't have a job. Um, I was just trying. My mom just tried, you know, pass your classes, you know. So uh, I was I wasn't really doing much, and then the videos kind of came when they started getting busy. I definitely had to just balance the two from just, uh, I, I mean, I don't want anybody to take notes, but I was just very uh, procrastinator when it came to school. So I just leave everything to the last minute and then, you know, that's yeah, how no, I, I remember got, you'd unfortunately, be like, but that's you'd be how like I got on a shoot and I'd come help you and you'd be like, yo, I got like a paper I got to write yeah, tonight. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm no, like, what? Yeah. It's, just a, it's just, yeah, I just had to push through like some days. I'd yeah. be like, damn, I really put this all the way back till right now. I mean, and, I remember uh, that too. Like I was... Uh, I was planning that Tutu Gang video, and I was like all the way in school in San Francisco. I live all the way out in the East Bay, and I'm yeah. like planning this at school, and I'm like, like, I don't know if there's anyone else doing this right now. Like I'm planning a <laughs> yeah. whole video, and yeah. like it's yeah, crazy. You, so the, it's the crazy feeling. The planning that goes but, into your videos too are you know a lot more extensive, but depends. I mean, I do videos like I do run and gun videos yeah. still too. It just just depends what I don't know if I have a cool enough idea for the yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Well, that's that's you know when I was just going. My, the the filming I was doing at school was like they were completely against like my music video life. You yeah. Know? They not saying they like were talking about it all the time, but I'm just saying mm-hmm. if I would bring it up or something or show it or try to, they were not like impressed for one. And yeah, just, it's they're just you know whatever they're into the, the whole filmmaking stuff. Yeah. Like, um. Yeah, it's weird. Music videos hold like a weird place amongst like the film community. Yeah, they do for sure. Like, I mean, there are some directors and whatnot who do music videos as well, but yeah. they bring more of a cinematic aspect. No, you, yep, you're right. But I don't know. Yeah. No, yeah, it's uh, it definitely helped me though being out there, um, and learning just mm-hmm. working with people. You know that short film I made that was at I school. So short, yeah. um, that's the only one I made. I I've been trying to shoot another one, but it's just I don't want no resources and less uh, stuff than we had on that one. Um, yeah, just yeah. because I know all this, all the things that went into making yeah. that short, so like I want it to be like that or even better. You know? Yeah, exactly. I can't yeah. have it be just a couple. Yeah, people just a couple guys just, with a know, camera. No, I just can't. Yeah. I need it to be sound and yeah, sound the most important. Uh, pre- yeah. Pre-production is yeah, very pre- no, important. Pre- you know, I, even on music videos, man. Like, no, yeah, that's what I. That's what I'm trying to. You know. Yeah, definitely. And in, you know, putting into my work a little bit. Yeah. the pre-production phase, but definitely. All right, cool. Um, I want to ask, I get this question every day of my life on Instagram. (laughs) People are always all like, how much should I charge for my first music video? (laughs) What's, how'd you start pricing, man? How that, when, what was the first music video you charged for and how much was it? Um, I mean, a hundred bucks, 200 bucks. Um, the first like, like consistent price is definitely 200, 150. Mm -hmm. Um, that's after I did a stupid amount of free. Yeah. And obviously, I mean, people know me. I still do free work. I just, yeah. 
I just can, you know, I like to work. I know my worth though, so if I very interested in something, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, do exactly. it. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, and I mean that's what I try to do too. Like, yeah. I mean, in the beginning, I would take everything for you. Like, yeah. I was just so excited about shooting music videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the first one I got paid for too was 150. So I would just say like, I mean, even if you want to do it for free, yeah. like, but you're kind of at the point where you should almost be getting paid. Like, at least get your gas, get your food covered. Just say yeah, like, yeah. throw me 50 bucks. Like doesn't i mean when you're starting out it doesn't really matter just do it because you love it not yeah, yeah. because you're trying to get a check exactly but i think that's that's where everybody gets it mixed up but, you know there's so many people who are starting out in this yeah. in this you know the game they spend a lot of money well to them a lot of money on a camera and a lens mm-hmm. and stuff and then just because they did that they think that they should be getting reimbursed for it yeah but the you biggest gotta put thing in the work I, behind I mean, the camera I, I forget who i heard this from but i i think ever since i heard that i disagreed he said uh you don't get paid to learn, you know? Yeah, it's no. Like, yep. You shouldn't get paid to, to start off. You know? Yeah, like, no, exactly. Yeah. Just because you bought the stuff, you mm-hmm. know? It's just like when you do an internship. Like, you're not getting paid when you do an internship. Exactly. So think of this as an internship. Like, exactly. And, like, especially, like, if I'm working with an artist like that, like, I've been listening to forever, like, yeah. I'm going to obviously, like, and I'm excited, like, I'm passionate about the song. Like, I'm either going to take a cut in how much I think I should oh, get yeah. paid or invest all of it into the video. Yeah. But like at the end of the day, it is our job now. Yeah, I mean, you, sure. treat, you treat this as your job, well, this right? This is my job for sure. So, I mean, when you get to the point and you know your worth, like you yeah. have to be strict on your pricing. Like, yeah. yeah, it'd be dope to do that video with you, but like I have other paying clients in front of you, you yeah. know? So you gotta oh, yeah. draw that line eventually, yep. but. Yep, I just, so. uh, like I said, I just like to, uh, I like to work. Um, some artists, some artists, you know, like to invest in themselves. Some artists don't. Um, some artists treat me with respect and some don't. So yeah, exactly. there's just a lot of taking into consideration. And then the ones that know? don't treat you with respect, next time they want to, that last minute shoot, yep. nah, man, I'm got saying. editing or it's, price uh, is going up. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's not worth my time. You yeah, canceled exactly. on me last time. Yeah. So, Rob, I got a question for you. Uh, up, how much for a video? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right now, I, t- I should I tell everyone five hundred to eight hundred dollars. No, nah, I'm, I'm messing with you, but like I mean, that's that's really what I tell people. I'm not, I'm not. The only reason why I like to just straight up say that is because I that's that's my prices. Gonna, yeah, that's, like, that's what I tell people. I I have no problem with you know if someone says how much are your videos. I know that's very simple, and it's like you should come with some more like you know information. Yeah, but exactly. But I'm just gonna give you the same answer right back. I'm not going to say what's up, what's good or nothing. I'm just going to say yeah, exactly. 500 to $800. 90% of the people who see that t- that message do not respond. Exactly, yeah. So, I mean, so. and honestly, like, I'll say a really high price when people hit me up like that. I'm yeah. going to boost it up. Yeah, and then yeah, if they hit me with an email, they say, hey, my name's yada yada. Yeah. Here's my song. I want to <laughs> film in San Francisco. Yeah. I want the Golden Gate Bridge behind me. So that's and good details. <laughs> I want you to come up with the rest of the ideas. Yeah. Here's the song. I'm thinking July 1st, and I have $1,200. Yeah, like it's a way better. That's or they can even <laughs> talk me down at that point. Yeah, like yeah. my budget's 800, but I'm willing to like they show that they're genuine. Like yeah. a lot of the times I've met them there, or I'll meet them halfway and we'll work it out. Yeah. But some people just don't know how to come professional, you know. And I ain't gonna like. I mean, it's not, our job to educate them. Do you think not that? Yet, not, uh, not to ed like I ain't gonna educate them, Definitely but I'm not, just gonna but... show them my way of how I run my business. Yeah. And if that's not how you want to, like, you know, do yeah. it, then there's so many of us around here where it's just go to go to the next. You know? Yeah, exactly. So yeah. I'm and not people about get mad money, too. Yeah. They're like, Yeah. Why well, I mean, hit me back? And I was like, I told you to send me the song and all these details, <laughs> and then I just get a song in my email. I'm like, Yeah. What's the song in my email gonna like? Who whose random song is this? Yeah, like, yeah. No, yeah, I, and I don't know. You probably heard before, but I like to really make my artist uh, to think a little bit out the box. You know, I I like coming up with ideas, but at the end of the day, I don't like getting an email where it's just like, here, I'm gonna send you this song. Um, I'm trying to have my video look like this. They send you a Cole Bennett video. Yeah. And I, I, uh, I can't do just that. come up with the rest. It's just like I. I, I'm sorry, but I, I I shoot for one. I shoot like every mm-hmm. single day, so it's hard for me to come up with locations and that stuff. So nine times out of ten, the artist comes up with a location. I've never even seen the location before. I'm like, damn, this is pretty dope. That's because he yeah. went out of his way and found a location. I think know? certain artists also have like 
Some artists are really good at like planning and getting all their friends there, but yeah, are yeah, horrible yeah. at locations. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then some are like have like fire locate. Like I've been to some videos and they have just like the worst locations. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like, or hella like, people, and then the yeah. best location, no one showed up. Or yeah, exactly. So I think. No, yeah, it's uh, it's yeah. Tough, you got to meet your. Yeah, I mean, we definitely got to work with the artist because like so like um so I'm Sue. He was talking to me the other day and like we was, we were trying to come up with a treatment for a song and he threw some ideas out there. He sent me some examples. I think examples are useful yeah, yeah, yeah. if they're not trying to bite the style yeah you know like hey i really like the well, way this scene felt are, like made right no yeah it's all based off of other, other people's scenes, yeah other yeah. scenes yeah from movies from anything like when i watch music videos this is a cool tip yeah. you could steal it too <laughs> when i watch music videos on youtube like Shit. i'll try and like watch music videos like i don't know like once a day at least and then um i'll just sit there and like when i see a dope scene i'm just screenshotting the entire time oh, yeah. so when i go to make treatments i have like all these examples of like that, scenes ideas that's dope that is mm -hmm. dope right there Might so yeah doing that <laughs> yeah dude it's, it's helpful too like when you just like listen to a song and like scroll through yeah cool let's see what let's see awesome. what other questions i got here uh what was your first camera uh yeah so my mom and then my stepdad had a, a Canon TTY, just okay, a stock yeah. lens on there. Um, 18, well, they had the uh, 18, and then they had the uh, 50 to 250, or the oh, okay. 75. Oh, like the Costco kit. Yeah, yeah, it was the like Costco, a Costco yeah. kit or something. So 18 to 55 with the uh, with that zoom lens. That zoom yeah, lens is so sharp. I've never though. used it. Oh, it's it's sharp. Let me tell you. <laughs> uh, once you zoom in, you know you have the yeah, the you got that field. shallow depth yeah, of field. It's, uh, it's nice. That was one thing that stuck out to me too when I first got it. I took a picture. I'm like, damn, why is the background blurry? That shit looks <laughs> nice. Shit, so cool. what um, is that? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> so the Canon T two I was the first camera, and then tight. Yeah, and got another Canon. Nice. And now you're Sony, right? And then went Sony. Yeah. What are you shooting on right now for the people at home? It's a Sony A seven three, not a A seven S three. Not a A seven S. Not a A seven S two anymore, which I used for the last two years. Most of my videos are on the A7S2, but A7 III, that's the beast right there. Yeah, I, think I just shot on that better. recently. It's 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 a good camera. Uh, it's, no, nah, it's a great camera. Like, don't get me wrong. I love it. I tell everybody to go buy that. If they're like, oh, I'm about to get the A7S2, I'm like, no. It's a little go. played out. You got you to gotta move on. Camera, yeah. The it's, battery's better. Battery's better. Autofocus better. Full frame, 120 frames per second. Oh, yeah. I totally forgot um, about that, too. That's horrible. The image stabilization's way better. I mean, I'm walking handheld. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, it's a beast of a camera. Yeah. It's, like, crazy. If I knew of that camera before the Ace... I told a buddy of well, mine just to sell out. his A7S II to, to get that. Yeah. Because it's literally cheaper. I mean, no, the A7S2 yeah, is 2400 I mean, the A7S2 is a sick camera, but... It's cool, but for, like... I mean, and for what I do personally, I don't see any difference of those cameras. Yeah, and it's yeah. cheaper on the right end. Yeah, the battery, the battery, and the battery. I the yesterday battery. I used the whole camera. I was it was on the whole video shoot. Yeah, and it's like the GH5. Die. The you gotta get on the GH5, man. <laughs> I'm messing. With you. I haven't used the Panasonic um, in so long. So describe to me Rob Driscoll style. What would you say your style is like? Um, that's like something i'm trying to find right now to be honest with you i'm trying yeah, to find I'm my still style, trying to find my but style like, if too. someone would like create one of how my work looks right now yeah. i had someone tell me the other day when they see uh foreground objects and blurry mm -hmm. backgrounds or shallow yeah. depth of field that's no i think your thing. depth of field like goes crazy like i was watching uh uh, that BOE Sosa video, yeah. and I, yeah, I've never even heard of that artist, but that video has already touched like what five million five views. Million, yeah, it's, it's, crazy. it's still, it's only been a month. Well, I remember when he, right when he got out, he told, he sent me the song, and I said, Bro, <laughs> this yeah. is the one, right? Was here. It, did you direct that? Did you come up with the yeah, idea of the like TV. him, like in the red? Yep, yeah, yep. I was clean, yep. and like, because I asked, I knew the editor, uh, one shot, I knew, yeah, that tell he me came. about your He's, editing process. Why don't he, you like editing, Rob? Um, it's just like. It's just a whole different creative like aspect of, mm -hmm. of a video, you know? And like I've done my part with the shooting, directing or whatever it takes and then I really like like giving some of my footage and then seeing a final video and be like, damn, like I would never been yeah, able yeah. to do that. Like, I know, I'm afraid to do that, but I need to do it soon. Like I do like my edits on certain videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I am trying to get into that more. Um no, it's, I'm just I'm, passing off edits. Yeah, so. I'll be doing that way way more. It's just like I like to edit like 
songs that I know aren't gonna be like crazy effects and like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just gonna make like cut cut dissolves mm -hmm. I'm very good at the cutting like I love editing and cutting to like different you know to make <clears> it flow <throat> I could do that but like the effects and stuff is kind of like not really my style um, mm -hmm. in terms of me like doing it I like yeah. I like seeing it after like you know seeing all my work done I'm like damn that that does look tight um, and like I said I'm gonna be doing it more um, but eventually obviously I want to be like in the industry like just a camera operator, you know? Yeah. So maybe okay. a colorist. Colorist? I love, I love Yeah, that'd be colorist. sick. Get like one of those little tables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's like, you know, that's... I'm, I bet I want to get into Da Vinci. Me too, because that's, that's everybody's talking about it. And I'm t like, I don't know. I just like, I mean, I'm not saying my coloring's like on, on point perfect and don't need any bit more work. But when I color right now, I color so fast because I've like gotten to this point where I'm just like dragging mm -hmm. the curves and... I don't know. So like, I feel like if I was on the yeah. analog, I know I want to sit it, down like a whole week. And I want to like, go behind someone and watch right? them do it. I know? just want to watch like hella tutorials of just Da Vinci and just yeah. go, hard go hard and just get like red footage and just yeah. get in depth with it. Um, yeah, for sure. But yeah, so let's talk more about that Boe Sosa video. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you had someone else edit it. Um, how was the video like? I, I don't know. I could tell it was actually cool. Like the shoot. Um, Cause we shot the outside just you know quick little homies you know doing yeah. just the normal the normal shit and then you know we wanted that tv scene um he everywhere we had kind of the kind of you know flaked off we, we were like damn where are we gonna go and then um a buddy of mine who was helping me shoot it um uh -huh. he's like hey we could go in the uh actually i had asked him because i'm like hey isn't your garage like open he's like yeah and i'm like shit uh <clears throat> let's go see what we could do over there bro it's yeah. like our last option so we we had drove i just told sosa to drive over there so him and his boy just drove over there we go went over there and then we had to pick up it was kind of like this big bro that, that couch, couch? yeah I saw that couch. all the way from his living room damn i had, yeah, had made i had to help uh, they had to help us yeah it was hella big so <laughs> we carried that motherfucker into the uh damn That's into the, um garage and then had those cheap uh little led lights i'm talking probably like uh, the, and that's what the red light was yep. look clean with a little gel on it yeah uh, and then just uh wait till you get the 300d i man. know it's i gonna, cannot wait it's gonna be fire but wait. uh yeah no like did you did you have a feeling that that video was gonna do as yeah. well as it's doing right now yeah for sure that's what's up i don't know for some reason when i hear a song like i'm not like 90 or 100 percent right every time you're pretty right hear, about that one little peep video though i helped I, you on you're like yeah this one's gonna do what's that at uh oh the one we did uh it's definitely over a million i don't know though check it right now no yeah it's i don't know if it's one of his most but so no yeah that one was cool though that was a that was a crazy shoot we were oh yeah i do yeah i, I, I remember that day you yeah. met me at ikea parking lot yeah, yeah, yeah that was like our first time shooting yeah that was that. our first time shooting what was the name of that song oh it's what you really mean honestly i don't even think that one did is it's got good. it's almost got two i mean it's Two is good, but I'm just saying compared yeah. to like he he's got other ones. It's like yeah, six that one you seven. did, just a straight studio performance. Seven million. Lil Pete impatient, six point four million, and it was just shot in a studio. That's Took crazy. Why do you think that is? Just the audio, man. Lil Pete's popping. Lil Pete's popping. Yeah. Do you think like, it also? I mean, do you think if someone else shot it and it was just a trash video, do you think it would have touched? That's what I was going to say. I'm not discrediting myself or anything. Yeah. Because everybody hits me like, hey, bro, that little Pete video in the studio, like, that mm -hmm. was clean. So, like, I'm not, like, discrediting myself, but I'm just saying, yeah, I have see I see videos like that, though, and they hit millions yeah. just as easy. It's I just think, like, it doesn't really matter. I think your I feel style like. complements his style Yeah. well. Like, he's just kind of, like, chill on the track. Yeah, and then yeah. I think, like, without all the crazy edits, when yeah, you don't yeah. have someone else at it. Yeah, he don't like styles, all the crazy edits, so yeah, that's see? why we, we really just, you So know. I think that's why your style complements his music. And you just have clean shots. I yeah, think yeah. one thing, like, when I hear Rob Driscoll, I really think, like, you really go for the clean, sharp image. Yeah, and I know yeah. we've talked on the phone, and you said you want to get more cinematic. Yeah, I, I think we're all trying to get I just, more cinematic. I just bought a, uh, I don't know, you probably use it, so I don't, I don't what? want any bad, uh... <laughs> the pro mist filter you've said you oh yeah yeah i told you cool? get the i told you you get it okay okay would was, you would you get the quarter or the half the quarter i think all right the quarter is more subtle i have the half i'll show you after okay, this yeah, yeah. i'll get um, if it's not as much I'll it's cool that, yeah it's, i don't know like i wanted like something because i yeah. had the half i bought it how long ago i actually bought it for the tutu gang video oh, okay and like i was like i want to put a filter and then like <laughs> 
uh, me and my girl went out to Treasure Island and I was trying it on and then I stacked it on the ND filter and like I think I stacked it wrong and just everything <laughs> looked hella bad yeah. I'm like I don't even want to use this like I couldn't tell the difference so yeah. recently I'll, when I went to Hawaii I uh, you were using I it? purchased the half not the quarter oh, okay. and then like it's cool it's, it's a tight fill I just did it for another video too yeah. you want to like that California vibe oh, okay. so like yeah. I was like that'd be cool yeah I smash it like sometimes it's like literally you could see like if someone had a damn freaking speck on their cheek that was like yeah. you couldn't even see with your human eye my yeah. camera could see it you know, and I think like, that works for certain I mean it works things, for yeah. certain videos but like yeah, at a like, point we in, in studio is where you really see it I feel yeah. like yeah if you shoot in a studio with lights and like all the mm -hmm. smoke it's like you see literally like the crack in the wall or like yeah. the, you know like there's just the, the crinkles I don't know you just see everything it's just mm -hmm. too much like that's why I feel like the the like diffusing and hazing and with the filter mm -hmm. it'll kind of hopefully i mean maybe yeah, i just it, gotta buy a film camera but. and what we're talking about if you guys don't know we're talking about black promis filters it's basically just a filter that you can screw on the front of your lens or they have like the actual um i don't know what they're called um, variable ones like the no like the little oh, for the matte box yeah for the matte box so you yeah. can buy them and it just softens your image like uh my dp andy chin he has like a whole box of like just different filters and like we throw different stuff on just Trying to, to be see like, like yeah, Andy's sick. So I yeah. buy, I'm just trying to buy a bunch of equipment, like yeah. the, the little things. Yeah, I just um, bought gaff tape hella random yesterday because the other must. day I needed it and like I didn't have it. So I bought that. I bought, um, I bought white gaff tape. White gaff tape. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Especially if you do like a white wall scene yeah, yeah, yeah. and you want to hide a light in the back, you can That's lay true. it down and then you don't have to mask it out as much. That is true. Yeah. But yeah. Um, awesome. Cool, cool. Tell me about Rob Driscoll buying a tripod. Oh, Yep, I just bought one yesterday for the first time in since ever. I've and what? Never had a uh, so, for a while you were. Uh, it's gonna sound mean, but you were the Bay Area typical shooter for a while. <laughs> you had the Ronin, and you were just running around with the A7S II. But then, most recently, you mixed it up. Finally, you yep. were like, I've been seeing you rock handheld shots on like that Benny video. Yep. And then now you're getting a tripod. You're getting the lighting. So yeah. I think it's good. Like. It's just know. obviously like there's always room for improvement. You know, sometimes you, um, especially with filmmaking, like nowadays they make things that make your life easier. And I feel mm -hmm. like uh, right away I bought that Ronin and I thought it was just like make my life easier to just use this all the time. And yeah. just, uh, it, it was. I just God, just was able to just run around with that and everything yeah. was perfect. Um, but that was the problem. Everything was too perfect. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's it's just, just like what we were saying with the two sharp sensors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. like where everything looks too clear, yeah, yeah. kind of got to be like that's. I think that's why everyone's like so attracted to the VHS effect because <laughs> yeah. we have such sharp images. Like when you yeah. get the VHS, also VHS has like a, I don't know. It's like I feel like it's something in our mind like that brings us back to like home videos and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. but true. We, we won't get into that. Um, <laughs> no, that's true though. Yeah. But I think yeah, adding different elements. Um, like still, so obviously, you're always gonna use a Ronin. I, yeah, I still yeah. use a gimbal. Yeah, like yeah. it's awesome, but. Just don't get carried away, you know? And yeah. that's something I, for one, I did get told by a film teacher. Um, and ever since then, I think that's when I stopped doing it. But he told me my, my work looked like I was going in a circle. And so mm -hmm. every time every time I was editing, I'm like, literally wow, and, I am going uh, in a circle. <laughs> get it. Because it's like just a, literally, you're yeah. moving the whole time on yeah. the mountain. It's just constant moving. It's just yeah. uh, never also, stopped. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I got that tripod. I'm, I don't, I'm not a fan of tripod shots when it's just like the whole thing, but I know shots call for anything i mean yeah exactly your shot should call for a ronin or your shot mm -hmm. should call for the handheld or, or like, a steady cam yeah or, yeah you it, know. Should, it should it should go with the movement of the shot so exactly um, sliders are sick but they just like take yeah. so long to, i definitely like, want to i want one of those ones that are like the dana dolly electric, yeah that paul uh it's that like wedding videographer dude youtuber paul Robert, oh the dude or, who's like the full-time filmmaker yeah. who always like pops up on youtube yeah, and, yeah or on yeah, instagram yeah, and he's, he's got like, the glide cam he's like yeah, yeah. And shit. it's like yeah. he's cool um but he was yeah i i used to see him do that all the time uh so what's up but yeah cool i'm gonna pull up some more questions here um who what what time are we at 35 minutes yeah, 35 minutes. oh we're good, good. what uh ch -ch 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 Who's one of your favorite artists that you've worked with so far? There's a bunch, you know, I've worked with so many artists. Um, I, you know, I meet a bunch of dope ass people. I meet people who don't, you know, treat me that well. I meet people who treat me the best ever. Um, yeah. So it's just kind of hard to, 
to like you know name drop some people because I I love like exactly, all yeah. my artists I work with I I work yeah. consistently with people. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean I know for a fact the ones who uh, who've been who've been there since you know day one. Um, yeah, I think that's are the ones that I. I think that's what we all want is just to work with artists who are like obviously like it's mutual respect and like yeah. it's fun on set like so where it doesn't feel like a job like when you have an yeah, artist yeah. who's late who's not respecting you who's being yeah. rude like this starts to feel like the worst job in the world yeah, and like yeah. it's still I'd still say it's better than like working at like a fast food restaurant for or something sure, for sure but it gets, it gets pretty bad or really. it gets pretty bad at nah, you gotta put you gotta put up with some shit yeah <laughs> definitely you, you gotta um, I also tell a lot of people when they're starting off and shit, there's a lot of bullshit you're going to have to put up with, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, and if you let it get to you, you're going to fail. And All sorts gonna... of stuff, like people not paying you, Pain, people not respecting up. you, people making Respect you redo huge. your entire edit, people showing up late. Respect it, is huge, though. I mean, yeah, at no, the end of the day, it's like, so that, that's what I was saying just about like the, the whole money thing. It's like, I really don't, I ain't tripping about like money, like, uh, you know, if you need to pay like half now, half later, like yeah, go ahead. But if if I'm gonna be treated like hella wrong or, or uh, disrespectfully or getting called blown up uh, two days after the video shoot about yeah. the edit when I just told you it's gonna take two three weeks, yeah, just wait, stuff two to like three that, weeks, you yes. know, or just I don't know little things. Yeah, I'm not gonna like I don't I'm not the one to like go off on people or mm -hmm. tell them or I'm just like. I just learn. I learn from yeah. it, you know. And there's just so many. There's so many different artists out there. It's like if one's gonna treat you bad, man, just go to the next. Like, don't let him ruin what you got going. Just yeah, because exactly. Yeah. He's. I don't know what's wrong. He's just, you know, mad yeah. or something. But there's so like and there's so sometimes many artists, it man. even happens like that'll happen. And then if you just stay positive and yeah. just be, yeah. I mean, just be professional about it. Don't argue with the artist be yeah. like give them you know do your best oh, yeah. if you're paid in full do the best video you can yeah. give them the work well, and then the move like, on they are and then, paying they are paying so like i ain't trying to and like, then most likely them. they're gonna come back around and yeah. then they're gonna be cool and they're like hey <laughs> i appreciate you and then because yeah. i've had i've had both so yeah yeah, no, yeah shit just obviously it's not gonna be like perfect every time it is a job like yep. people have issues with their jobs all the time but um so cool. Rob, what is one artist that you would want to work with right now? Um, I, shoot, that is a good question. Um, I mean, I've been wanting to work with Mozzie for hell of long. Okay, yeah, you've been, you, been in sack. You've been in sack. I mean, I, I, if, if I like literally, if I had to choose one, I mean, it, it would. It would be. I got a crazy been. story about Mozzie. I'm sorry <laughs> I didn't hit you up. So <laughs> little G good. hit me, and he's all like, "Have I ever told you the story?" I, how I linked up with Mozzie for that video. I th oh, yeah, and he was calling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Lil G, we had that song, and I was like, okay, like, I didn't really think it was going to go through, you know? Wait, so you guys never shot it, right? No, no, we did. It's out. It's called It's a Hit. I'll show oh, yeah, you it's after. It's a hit, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a hit. Yeah, yeah. And then so Lil G's like, I want to shoot this video, like, it's with Mozzie, and I'm like, okay, for sure, like, let me know when. And then I didn't hear anything from him. I get a call like a few days later and I was just like, it was like some weird number. I was like, I just like let it go to the voicemail. I'm like, I don't, I didn't feel like answering it. <laughs> and then I get a text and it's like, like it's Mozzie hit me back. Nah. <laughs> and I'm like, what? So nah. I call it back and he's like, hey, it's Mozzie. He's like gangland. And like, <laughs> it was crazy. It straight up sounded like right out of a song. Yeah. And he's a hella cool dude. Like it was a fun yeah. shoot. Like he enjoyed dope. everything. It was a cool shoot, but yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely, I definitely, I definitely want to work with him. Um, I've been close a couple times, you know. I talked to his manager. Oh yeah, all the time, you did that so. one. You, I shot for Sally a couple times, Sally Rue. And, yeah, uh, yeah. You, know, you did that one where Mozzie was there. Did you yeah, get yeah, any yeah. shots of him? Or yeah, it was a cameo in there. But it I wasn't was, like that was when I first started though. So yeah, I don't know he shot with like everybody out in sack. So it's just I need to, I need to, I don't know. I've It'll I've happen. DM'd him. I've I've done it all. So at this point, it's just so, yeah, I'm waiting for it just to kind yeah. of happen. Um, He's getting crazy big though. All the shot at like him and Kendrick. No, and yeah, that's YG. why I think when I'm just gonna have to make get in the industry. And then yeah. in a year or two. Just That's another question. Do you industry. want to be an industry type shooter? Are you trying to go to LA or what are yeah. you trying to do? I'm trying to be like what? Uh, just a, either a director or just a camera op, man, in the, yeah. in the industry. Yeah. Are you I trying wanna to go own to my LA? Business. Uh, probably. But I want to yeah. own my own business. Like, I want to forever be able to, like, shoot a wedding or shoot my homie's uh, music video and not have to charge him $40,000. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, like, I could just use my Sony or something mm -hmm. like that, you know? 
I always want to be able to do that. So I kind of do want to have like my own business. I just don't know how it's all going to happen. But I definitely want to be in a, in a crew, man. I, I want to cool, be. Man. I want to make. I want to work with the big, the big artists, the like big bigger, like Ty Dolla Sign, Chris Brown, and yeah, you know them. That Chris Brown for sure. I'm trying to be on set with yeah. Chris Brown, man. That's all. That's yeah. all I want. Yeah, that's like that's my biggest goal. That's tight. Just I, yeah. I, just watching him work on at, in a music video. What's your favorite Chris Brown music video? <sighs> I mean, drops. I he drops one all the time, but the one he just did, I watch all the time too. Is that the one that Darren Miller? Uh, I mean, he shoots all DP'd? of them. Yeah, DP's yeah. them all. But uh, did you hit Darren Miller up when he was in I, the Bay Area for the BTS? I, I didn't. I didn't hit him up when he was in the Bay, bro. but I have. I have you hit suck. him up before. <laughs> I know. You should hit him up. Yeah, I don't even think he had BTS on that shoot. Yeah. I, I messaged him too, and then like I don't know, like that video. What'd you think about the Power G Easy video? I only watched it once, and it was cool. Um, the best shot was super, Neff sh- super nice. On the uh, he was on like the bow of the boat. Yeah, yeah. See, like, and then like it was hard. backlit under the Bay Bridge. That was sick. Yeah, I didn't watch it too much to to watch. It, it was like cool. That, but... I felt like the editing could have been better, but it was a yeah. cool video. Yeah, I just like Chris Brown's direct, like him just directing all his own stuff. Super like inspiring. So I just like. If I was was an artist, music artist, that's exactly how I would want to be. So yeah, directing my own shit. You know? Yeah, that's tight. So. All right, man. We're getting towards the end. I got a few questions left. Um, what advice do you have someone who wants to do what you do? They want to be Rob Driscoll. They don't want to be Rob Driscoll, but they yeah. want to be yeah. in the position you're in, shooting for those type of artists that you're shooting for. What advice do you have for them? Man, just um, I would just say, just stay consistent keep striving to, to learn um uh, uh connect with people i mean don't stop connecting emailing mm-hmm. dming uh whatever it takes up with other people yeah, who are doing don't the- be uh don't be the guy who just tr- you know is in a bubble trying to just have people come to him it's mm-hmm. not going to work like that just- i would say to um like you said connecting with people like even just connecting like me and rob connecting like yeah. I don't know. I can't think of anything directly that it's linked up to me, <laughs> but I'm sure there's been times like, oh no, I passed you that one video, the uh, Lil G or no Lil Slug, uh, oh, Filthy, Filthy Rich yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, you did. That video got some cool views. I'm sure no, that yeah. got you some more clients. No, yeah, no, it did for sure. Yeah, and that video is it was no, pretty it, cool for shot I mean, in like what ten yeah. minutes? Yeah, literally <laughs> twenty minutes. That's uh, how they normally go. But uh, but no, yeah, it's that's another thing connect with other people that are doing what you're doing i mean don't just exactly. don't think that it's all competition you know it's like me and you do the exact same thing and not once have we ever competed you know it's no like, yeah there's there's enough it, it should be collaboration if anything, yeah because it's like we're all doing it on our own i mean you you guys have more of a crew you know but um most of the time it's like we're all doing it kind of on our yeah. own so the the more collaboration it's like the better the videos are going to be so um, mm-hmm. Yeah, and then just yeah, stay consistent, and man. Keep going. One thing that I want to bring in, so like like we said, meet with other people who are similar to you. Yeah. Um, like me in combat, who's his studio. We started shooting music videos. He, I linked up with him. We'll talk about this in another podcast. But I saw him, and then he was at a similar point. Like he's never shot a music video. Yeah. I've never shot a music video. We linked up, shot our first music video, and we shot like 20 more. 20? <laughs> did you count yesterday? Yeah, 20. Yeah, 20. 21. Yeah. It's yeah. lit. So yeah, we did. That's we were, crazy. We got, we're shooting another one today. We work together because like we're both going for the same goal, like in a yeah. sense, like just trying to like get better at our craft. And even like when you work with someone like that, like let's say Birdo, like he had to take some time off music because like he had to get a studio running. Yeah. He, I kept going with video, so like when Berto comes back, obviously I'm gonna help him out, and like you guys can help each other out. Like now he runs a studio. Like let's say I st- I lose a bunch of clients, I could even hit Berto up and say like, Hey man, like I need some clients. Can you push yeah. some clients my way? And like it all works out. Like yeah. all the connections you're gonna make, like definitely like lead somewhere. So Seriously. I would say just build with like an artist that you like who's local, yeah. and I think that's like one of the biggest things you can do. Yeah. Well, and uh. Yeah, I mean, it's all gonna start. It's all gonna be on that social media too, where you meet most mm-hmm. of the people. So, I mean, there, I know a lot of uh, there's some videographers or cinematographers or whatever that kind of trying to do it, and they're like slow on their social media. They don't really, mm-hmm. they ain't really think they need it or whatnot. I'm just telling you, 99 percent of my work comes from just Instagram. Oh, it's just straight Instagram, it's and like, it's crazy because like <laughs> I see people. I'm not gonna lie, their work's way better than mine. I'm like, dude, this guy's sick. Like he's killing it. And like he's not working that much. Like on yeah. Instagram, I'm like, dude. Like if you were like marketing yourself, yeah. you'd have a hundred thousand followers. Yeah. Not that followers matter, but yeah, like yeah. 
he's at that point like just yeah. some random i've seen it multiple times in the industry you see that all the time you'll go like you'll see a yeah, DP there's name, industry people you see the like, dp name you go to his instagram he has 200 followers mm-hmm. it's like dude you just made one of the freaking that's just, when social media don't matter but i'm just talking about yeah. like i mean how we're running our own business by ourselves and it's like you know we got our own brand yeah. it's like you know you got to brand yourself for, you know yeah to, to i was on another extent. podcast it's funny because like you always say like you're out the trunk with your t-shirts oh, yeah <laughs> i was on a podcast called out the trunk it's pretty funny really <laughs> yeah. um oh yeah cool i'm gonna go to the oh wait nope i got a segment i just made this up last night this is called uh oh it's called invest in yourself okay. so basically what <laughs> what rob driscoll is going to do i'm gonna give rob driscoll an imaginary five thousand dollars and then he's gonna go through and he's gonna fill up an amazon cart uh to start shooting music videos so rob driscoll has no gear right now and i'm gonna turn on screen recording and rob driscoll's gonna go through and he's gonna go so on is amazon. this like is don't this actually buy budget it or like, you got five thousand bro but yeah so like am i going for like DSLR cameras or like am I trying to like well you I hope you don't just cash out on a red well but. I was gonna say maybe renting <laughs> no nah, you gotta own this this is like someone starting to like I, I know the rules. this is for someone who has like they saved up five thousand dollars they're like 20 years old maybe even younger and they want to start like yeah. doing what me and you are doing for sure. like, go for it man let's see I'm Camera. gonna move over here cameras first and I, I mean, I've just got to, I got to do, what, I right. got to do what I have because it's 19, 1998. So that's 1998 Click it, add it to the cart. That is not that expensive. Nope. For a camera, add to cart. So when you get a camera, what do you need? No, no thanks. You get a protection plan? No, I'm not wasting the 78 All right. That. All just right. get yourself insurance. How about that? So that doesn't come with the lens. So We need a lens. <sighs> Damn, what's a cheap lens? Because I ain't trying to spend a, a thousand. You want to scoot over a little bit? Yeah, sorry. You just have to watch over. I'm trying to spend a thousand. You already um, be at three. I, I know. Uh, it's going to have to be a um, 120D. Right. Dang, that's Ooh. the whole, that's why. That's the whole kit and caboodle. Yeah. How much was that? 640 for this. How much was the kit and caboodle one? Caboodle? Uh... Well, that's only a hundred more. But what is all that stuff? That's a Fresnel, and then that's it's a Fresnel. The... But what's that? Just some that's like doors? a barn door. Yeah. They're kind of weak. Weak. I'll save the hundred. I'll save the hundred and. I've been talking to Rob the like the last two, three weeks. He's been trying to figure out what to purchase the one twenty D and the three hundred D. So he's an expert now. <laughs> I just bought the three hundred, and now I'm waiting for the Mark II one twenty to come out. All right, so camera, lens, stabilizer, and light. Yeah. Oh, quick release plate, bro. For the glide cam? But it's like quick release or spend two hundred I have three hundred more. Oh wait, that one comes with a quick release. Wait, I get five thousand? Yeah, I was gonna give you five. Oh, sheesh. Um I should have made that. I should have done Should I just get her own in then? Yeah. (laughs) Get This is a Rob Driscoll package. You get a Ronin and a no, don't get both. Yeah, no, definitely not both. Oh, it's only nine hundred now. Yeah, man. Look at that, 900 for a Ronin. You don't even need, the only thing I would buy is an extra battery. For the Ronin? Yeah. Mine died hella fast, so I'm going to have like really? some opera in. Mine literally You taking the glide cam out? Yeah. All right, so I have 1100 or, all right, so yeah. and I got the light, one light. You need a dome for it? Oh, yeah, I see. Uh, what, what is it? Uh, you going to get the cheap dome or the good dome? I mean, might as well just get the good dome. Yeah, 120 light dome. Just so it, oh, I don't want the package though. So. You just type in light dome. It. What'd you type in? 157, whatever. It's just some oh, yeah. tax. I think that's how much it is on there. All right, and then cool. one more. Probably just. Uh, I probably could have got a better lens. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I only had 3,000. No, I should have left you at 3,000. I know. Cause now it's probably gonna be the. Uh... Oh, he's he's typing in. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. It's, it's going down. <laughs> Rob's going hard. No, I can't. Cause I would get that. Oh, if I had the money, I would get that one. That one's so sick. Uh, what's his name? How's that? K Welch. I'll let you get it. I'll let you go over. It. Cause I I think a lens is the most important thing. This this lens, sixteen to thirty five, two point eight, is a beast. And that's gonna help you with every. God damn, we gotta we gotta garbage truck outside let's see where we're at how much over budget 
900 bucks. Oh, 900 no, bucks? Yeah, I'm gonna have to delete some. No, that's good. That's good? I think that's good. I would say just get the Amazon store credit card. Yeah, put it on. on that nine. Put it on, what's it called? Do the monthly payments. So we got a Sony a7 III with a 16-35 to 2.8 uh, lens on it. And then we got a Aperture 120D. Walk me through each one of those. So the, okay, a7, so we, the, so the a7S, no, the a7 III a7 with that III. lens. Tell me what the, I mean, f2.8 already on a low light beast. That's insane. You could film yeah, that's like in pretty, a black room. Yeah, it's pretty. And then how's the autofocus on that? Uh, I don't know about the lens. Uh, I haven't really worked on like that lens too much. So I mean, it's native. So I mean, I it think... should be, the, the camera is fast. And yeah. I work on a 25 millimeter Zeiss and a 50 millimeter uh, Sony mm -hmm. lens. And those are fast yeah I'm and that's like, a wide so there's not even that much depth in yeah, the field. Yeah, yeah but when you're at 35 when you have 35 nice. and you get in that's close. a nice lens because you you go wide and then you just mm -hmm. you can uh, go to 35 and if you want to even locked in just punch in on the digital mm -hmm. uh, clear image zoom yep. you got a 50 yeah and especially like with the ronin you could even be wide yeah and then you that's get those saying. wide movement shots and then what you do is you just punch into 35 and then you get those nice yeah, rotating in if shots. you have a ronin you need a wide you know it's like yeah no you definitely yeah it's like uh I don't know. You can do all like close up with the Ronin, but I think the Ronin looks so like cool. That's what it's cool. Yeah, getting close you know? to the ground and yeah, all yeah, that yeah. movement. So. And then we have the 120D with the light dome. That, so you can have soft cinematic lighting. Yep. You can put gels on it. You can definitely upgrade that light too in the future. There's tons of attachments. Yep. And well, then yeah. we got the Ronin. Ronin. You don't even need a case. Just throw that thing in your back seat and don't leave it in <laughs> yeah. your car. Yeah, yeah, don't get it stolen. I didn't take I, care of mine. But. I did not take care of mine, but I've used mine for, for probably over 200 videos and yeah. still using it today, mm -hmm. and it's been in the back of my trunk. I like. haven't been using mine, but I'm going to bust mine out. So <laughs> I'm, I'm, Heck yeah. Yep. And I think that's it, right? Yep. Yeah, that's all we got. Awesome. Sick. I wish I had that budget right now. Yeah, right? But yeah, so that's, I don't know, I figured that'd be helpful for anyone who's like, yeah. I don't know, do you feel that way whenever, like, I mean, obviously you just did, like, when you're buying lights, yeah. you felt like... I don't know like it's just like you're not sure what to get it's and overwhelming like, for sure yeah and like so honestly many. if you buy that right there you'd be set yeah i, I mean, mean you gotta get a memory card there's still you're gonna learn what you need but and it, and it's like yeah you got other things like computer you got yeah computer all but like all that just stuff. going for cameras yeah cool i'm pulling up the questions people ask you awesome sick all right so let's get into this we got all right, I'm not reading that. <laughs> uh, someone asked, this is hella weird. I don't, uh, how many ladies do you have in the DMs? <laughs> uh, homie, homie of Oak 47 asked that. <laughs> I have none. Yep. No ladies in my DMs. Uh, we for both one, have girlfriends, right? For one, you I have a girlfriend, girlfriend yeah. Yep. But I mean, that, you know, I, some people, people just respect me, I guess. They're, yep. just, they're not in there. I have a bunch of artists in there. There we know? go. Oh, we got <laughs> artists in the DMs. Um, not a question. But I love you, or I gotta say their names first. Android Tech Visual says, yeah, yeah, not yeah. a question, you know him? Yeah, I, yep, Instagram. All right, for sure. Yeah, so. I love you guys' work. Oh, yeah. Shout out. Yeah, you. Shout out to him. That's awesome. And then he Thank you. asked another question, which is a real question. Yeah. How does it feel to be working with the big dogs? <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, uh, like I, I like, <clears throat> you know, working with the people that I, that I grew up listening to is yeah. awesome. You know, It's crazy. Like, like at first, it's really weird, and then it just kind of becomes normal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, sure. sure, like, when you see, like, other artists, like, you're excited to meet them, yeah, and then, yeah. like, it's cool when they actually, like, they're the exact person you thought they were. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it's cool, too, like, when you discover, like, a whole other side of them you didn't know. Yeah. No, nah, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's, 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 like I said, it's honestly, it's, when I shot for, uh, who was it? The young boy and, uh, yeah. Yogati. It's like, some people would think, like, young boy and Yogati are, bigger than e40 but i was more stoked to shoot for e40 you know than, yeah than yo Gotti and young boy i barely yeah. i mean yo Gotti and i just know that name just radio and just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. so Definitely. that's cool but like and then also i i would i'm more happy working with young goalie than like mm -hmm. than the young boy shit the young boy and that shit is cool for like yeah my look but like working with like like you said how, how you think they would be like it's like the young boy and the god it's like those are exactly how they yeah. would be like you know mm -hmm. but working with the people out in the barrier who i listen to artists yeah. who i listen to when i was dope. young he's, is, he's a pretty is, cool dude oh yeah he's hilarious on set he's, he's hella funny yeah he is hella funny yeah, always good, comes with good a bottle vibe. of wine on set yeah, yeah good vibes for <laughs> sure yeah, that's awesome. um so we're gonna dino blade brown as how do you approach budgets Dino Blade. yeah i've heard that name before too um approach budgets 
uh, most of the time I, I get it low, like not 80% of the time I get, they're saying they don't have a high budget. So, mm-hmm. um, when it's a low budget, I just, just try to with work it. with them as much as I can. The lowest budget video is still going to look, you know, um, yeah. super and nice and crisp. I, I don't take It's crazy too. Cause yeah. I'm, I'm noticing too, like, even like if you put five grand into a video, yeah. like that doesn't guarantee it's going to do better. Yeah. It doesn't at all. It's really comes down to concept and also comes down to the music like i think at a point the video can only be as good as the song Mm -hmm. at a sense um but yeah let's move on lumix g7 or gh5 it's still dino blade brown i'll answer this because rob's a sony guy but i mean g7 is a cool camera it's a lot cheaper than the gh5 so i mean it just depends on your budget they're both great cameras uh spencer shot by spence says favorite light um well he I owns t- like the 300d and the 120 so i don't know why he's asking this uh, <laughs> well i just bought the 300 so that would probably be my next light and then the 120 but before that i just used this little tube light uh led oh Jacob yeah that thing's cool yeah recommended and that and he has, has that too it's tight yeah, we use that on uh one video it's like it's not like a tube light though it's like a, a flat it's like flat no i have the actual like it looks like a dang uh, lightsaber. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the little tube light that uh, Jacob Owens recommended. Okay, cool. I'll videos. find that. I'll link it. Yeah. It's, um, uh, it's, it's super helpful. You just have someone hold it right above you. Yeah. DIT workflow for large projects. Like, I don't know. Do you have big files or do, how do you manage big files? Um, Big computer, a <laughs> big processor. Um, if you don't have a big processor or a big computer, it's going to be kind of hard to manage yeah. big files. You got to do proxies too. If yeah. You're, yep. Or do proxies, yeah. Yeah. I don't do proxies just because like, for one, I mean, you I don't do ProRes with... and you're on a Mac, so you Mac, yeah. Yeah, so it's um, pretty cool. Spencer asked hella questions. It's all good. Uh, <laughs> have you met Spencer? He's dope. You got you to meet him. I don't him. think so. He's good at lighting. I've seen He's the dope. shot by Spence, but Yeah, that's though. him. Yeah. Uh, how do you deal with these... 4k video for 300 dollar chumps <laughs> <laughs> i mean just uh you know knock them out you're not gonna do what you're doing on a high budget video for 300 bucks that's obvious yeah. but um you just yeah do what you gotta do you know you, like we were talking about earlier sometimes there's videos that you shoot for that cheap you're just doing them real quick they're gonna hit millions so yeah sometimes it's just like if they only got 300 you kind of got to not give them like bad effort but just like give them a 300 dollars video yeah and, be, and i'd say too like you got to be strict on your time like yeah, yeah. if you're at no, the point too, where you know your short. worth you'd be like hey like and like basically i would say like we can only shoot for two hours um if you're late like that counts into the time yeah, you know yeah. like be on time and then if the artist is really with it they're gonna put forth the effort they're gonna be early so yeah um dream camera rig Oh, I thought that was like a username. No, that's a question mark. Dream that's... camera rig. Um, I, I want to be like a steady cam op, I think, um, okay. one of these days. So I don't know the exact name for one of those fancy ass seven thousand dollars steady cams. You should follow this guy. His name's uh, he's used to be in the Bay Area, or he's in like Thailand now. Andy sent me him. He's Thai. He's a steady cam op. Oh, okay. I'll send you him after. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but yeah, that and then just like a whatever cinema camera I get. Yeah, in the future. sick. What's the next Tyler Casey Rob Driscoll collab? Shit, it's got to be soon though. Whatever it is, but I don't know. Should be something. Um, yeah, we gotta come up with something. We, we just, yeah, we though. don't we don't have the track for it yet, but I'm sure it'll be something cool. Hit us up. Yeah, for real. Um, I'm gonna kind of Spencer asked a lot. I gotta get to everyone else's. We already talked about how important Instagram is, Spencer. Uh, favorite video we already got on that. Cool. All right, Spencer's done. Uh, Pack Visual said, what inspired you to get into videography and why? Uh, just, I think it, um, I don't know. What really inspired me was, uh, I always kind of try to decide how, like, what part of my life I should, like, say inspired me the most, but it was the, uh, just looking, I don't, it's just, it sounds weird, but it's just like when I seen the, um, the like the depth of field and just like making the, the picture look different than how it looks just looking at you yeah, guys right now. Eyes, yeah, with actual eyes, yeah. then that was just kind of like, I was like, oh, okay, this is honestly kind of cool. Because I was just used to like phone cameras and just yeah, like yeah, normal look. So. Those are always like wide angle too, which yeah. is similar to like the field of view of our eyes. Yeah. But yeah, that's cool, man. And I started getting into like picture editing and stuff. Yeah. And I think just like 
because I was doing photos too before I started really doing film. Yeah. I was like not a photographer, but I'm just saying I was taking hella photos and just yeah, freaking drenching the edits on them and putting yeah. them on my Instagram. And that was just one thing also that you know just drove me into the whole just making making motion picture. I guess I don't know. Sick. How long <clears throat> have you been filming for? Um, probably about. F it's been steady for three years for sure. But I've been you know I grabbed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I grabbed that camera about four, five years um, ago. What's it work? What's it like working with Lil Pete? Um, it's dope. Uh, he's a uh, he's a real humble. Oh, dude. I gotta read the names, bro. I suck at this. Uh, that's Ricky, Rich YD Visuals. Oh, okay. And then Young Wall asked the other one. Is that oh, one okay. of your clients, Young Wall? No, he's so out in here in Antioch. I'm no, pretty okay. sure it has to be a for him, but yeah. No, yeah, it's dope. Like I said, he's uh, humble. We've worked on like five videos, I think now, six or something. So we're locked in. Um, he, you know, he knows what he wants. He has mm -hmm. a vision for most of his songs, and I like his music. So it's a, it's a good connection. It's dope. What's up? We got three more. We got uh, one C Tav. What are your end goals? End goals? I think you kind of touched on it. Like, yeah, I want to be in the industry. Uh, I want to own. I want to own. I want to be a steady cam op. But there's like so many other things. Have you I worn a steady cam this? No, not yet. But That's I'm just, horrible, bro. I, I, I know everybody I, says it, but I'm just telling you. I mean, just I like feel everything. Like, no, I think like you like the movement, and the movement's yeah, sick once you learn it. But well, like yeah. when I try that on, I'm like. That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I just that's just some. I I watch videos all the time. I mean, yeah, people probably say that all the time, but I'm I'm gonna put that on. And I I mean, I'm telling you, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna like it right when I put it on. And the yep. second, and I'm gonna want to you know invest Your in Power it. Ranger suit. Yeah, but like I said, my end goals though, it's like that's those are some of them. But I I, I really want to own my own business. I want to own multiple businesses, whether it's production company whether it's like a record label, whether it's a coffee yeah. shop in my hometown, I just like, I want to own like multiple yeah. like things and just run, run it. I don't want to ever, I do like, the only time I want to work for someone is through like production company and stuff. Yeah, yeah just work with the other That's just because I want to be a part of these big sets, you know? Yeah, that's it's, pretty it's, much it's cool way. going on other sets and not having to do all the hard work yeah, in yeah. a sense. I mean, you still work hard, but you don't have to do all the pre-pro and all that. Yeah, but, um, for sure. Um, we kind of already talked about this first artist you did a visual with. Um, last question, Hoppa Films, or that was uh, their Hedjo asked, first artist you did a video with, we answered that. And then Hoppa Films, my homie Donovan, said, why wear vi white vans? Why wear, why do I wear white vans? Yeah, he said, why wear white vans? <laughs> I mean, Because of this photo, but oh, I feel like you oh, always oh. wear white vans, don't you? <laughs> I, I buy a new pair of white vans like once every week or two just because they're like $40 and they're slip-ons and they That's get dirty, saying. yeah. They get yeah. dirty hella quick, but white's my favorite color, so yeah. I just like white. Girl, she wears like, like white Toms, but she <laughs> doesn't buy a new pair like every oh, month, so, so they good. look like homeless people yeah, shoes yeah. by like two months in. Yeah, I, after like two weeks, my shoes start getting dirty, I just buy a new pair. They're they're cheap. That's why I yeah. like Vans, because they're cheap. If yeah. I had Jordans, I wouldn't have a new pair of fours every day, the white, yeah, yeah. all white fours or something. I would not have a new pair every day. It's true. <laughs> it probably cost cool. like a couple hundred. <laughs> For sure. Well, yeah, man. I appreciate you coming out. So yeah, if you guys yeah. want to check out Rob Driscoll, cool. I'm going to link his Instagram below. Awesome. Your Instagram Rob is Driscoll. at Rob Driscoll. Yeah. Any underscore? Uh, nope. That's it. And then my website, sure. shopbyrobdriscoll.com. Shopbyrobdriscoll.com. Yep. I'll link all that below. If you guys want to see the kit that Rob built, you can check that out below as well. You can check out all the Amazon stuff. Make sure to check out all the videos he shot. Uh, subscribe to this podcast. Comment if you thought it was dope. Um, if you made it to the end, comment some secret message that Rob's <laughs> going to say right now. What's the secret message, Rob? Uh, go crazy. Go crazy. Comment go crazy below, yeah. and we'll say what's up to you. Um, I think that's it, though. Cool. Thanks that's for having it. me, Tyler. That Thanks was awesome. for coming on. Yep, cool. Shout out Combat for recording this. <laughs> Cut it. Cut it.